at BBC Radio Cornwall. James Dundon Saturday show. All the usual today. We've got the bag coming up a little bit later on and Cryptic Cornwall after one o'clock. You can play along with those things. Right now, though, we ask the question, where is the chair? <laughs> the chair so we get a chairperson of a local organization on the phone and we ask them questions to try and work out where they are in cornwall play along use your local knowledge see how you do on today's where is the chair we're hoping to do well for you amy corbett seasoned where is the chair competitor is with us limbering up ready to go i am limbering hey i'm limbered okay i'm ready so we got five questions we can ask the chair we're going to rinse them for clues all right yeah we are okay uh hello chair Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Chair. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you very much. Oh, great. I'm looking forward to this. So we're going to ask oh. you five five questions, starting okay. with the traditional one, town or village? It's a village. A village, you mm. say? Oh, dear. These don't <laughs> tend to go so well. <laughs> okay, right. So we've got a village in Cornwall. Amy Corbett, your question. Okay, could you tell me a big news story that's happened in your village? Well, in 1985, the church burnt down. Oh, blimey. That's quite big. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It was a big story. Yeah. Mm. So it was a village. The church burnt down. Yes. In 1985. In 1985. I think I might know this. Oh, actually, no, hang on a minute. No, no if, it's eight, if it's 1985, I was... No. No. No, I'm thinking of another another church fire in a village. Okay, right. We'll keep going. So has your village been famous for anything in particular? Um, we are famous for our mining, um, clay mining in this area. Yeah. Mm. And we have um, the Restoric Pit, and we have Flatty and Pointy, our... Uh, sky tips. Uh, flappy and pointy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Flappy and pointy. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Hang on. I'm. I'm just making a note of this. Flappy and pointy. Lovely. Careful not to Google that. <laughs> no, don't. And uh, the uh, the next. So we got flappy and pointy. The sky tips. And the china clay and mining. Yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> She's giving a lot of info here. She this is. This is great. This is good. Okay, Amy, your question. Okay, do you have a village pub? We do. We have the commercial. Um, it's, it's brilliant. It's a very traditional pub. Lots going on. Um, music nearly every weekend. It's great. Brilliant pub. Okay, commercial in. And final question. Have you got a distinguishing landmark in your Cornish village? Yes, we do. Unfortunately for some people, but yes, it is a 120 metre tall tower, which is the tallest unsupported tower in Cornwall. <laughs> what is this today? I I wonder where we are. Do you know where is the chair? Any ideas, Amy? Uh, no. No. Okay. We're all out of ideas. It's down to you. So let's just recap. So this is a Cornish village. The parish church was nearly destroyed by a fire in the mid-80s. They're famous for China clay and flappy and pointy, the sky tips. And there's the commercial inn. And there's a big tower that is said to be Cornwall's highest unsupported structure as a landmark. So where is the chair? If you think you know, get in touch and name the Cornish village. You can give us a call on 0808 100 1039. We'd love to hear from you. Also send us a WhatsApp 08000 321 triple three start your message with the word cornwall where which village in cornwall has a tower 120 meters tall that's unsupported what does that even mean text eight one triple three start your message with the word cornwall tell us where is the chair <laughs> Cyrus is back with Beyonce. Beautiful country song, this. It's called Most Wanted. Mm -hmm. 
talented Beyonce, Miley Cyrus. Where is the chair? It's a village with a parish church that had a, a fire in the mid 80s. It was a big sort of local news story. Flappy and pointy, the sky tips. The commercial inn is a local pub. And there's a big, tall, unsupported tower, Cornwall's highest uns unsupported, unsupported structure, 120 metres tall. Where the heck's this? Where is the chair? You can give us a call now with your answer, 0808 100 1039. We'll reveal it next. James Churchfield, a breakfast. King, the love and pride, BBC Radio Cornwall. Lovely day to be out for a drive, uh, except if you're on the A30 in mid Cornwall, because it's shut between Scoria and Box Heater, and there are long delays at the minute. Traffic not moving an awful lot on the sort of Camborne Pool Red Roof bypass. There are queues back to the Avers roundabout at the minute, uh, crawling to get off, and then it's a real sort of crawl all the way down through the Penhallow 83075, the Goonavon roundabout, back to the Perrin Zabluo bendy bits on the A3075. So allow plenty of time if you're going A30 eastbound and having to use those diversions today. Also, a lot of traffic around Carmen Cross, as we mentioned, big Big car boot sale on there today, so queues around the Turf Down Road Junction. If you can update me, 0808 100 1039. Right, some of your answers now. Where is the chair? <laughs> People got it right. I thought it was difficult today. Hills gets it in said place. Also, I had a Robert in Callington who's currently at B&Q. <laughs> Bank holiday coming up. Here we go. David and Rosemary in Goldville and Mike and Gaharrick. Uh, also, we got Ange in Michaelstow and Paul in Newquay. Hi to Vanessa and Garfield who are, who are down in Burien. Enjoying that. And we've got uh, Nigel in Halston and Pete from Camburn. Lovely morning, says Paul in Meverell. And he gets where is the chair. Enjoy the weather, mate. Hi to Eileen in Penchuan and Trace as well, for giving it a go. Trace is in Port Levin with the hedgies. And we've got Jill and Ron in St. Austell and Kath in Tideford. Also, Aaron, who's out on the rounds today. And Ken in Hale and Karen in Lifton and David in Parr. And also hi to David, who's stuck in the traffic at Scoria, and Clive in List Garden, Esther in Red Roof, and Adrian in Truro, and Anne in Doncaster. Irving Camborne and Maureen in St. Austell, and Paul in St. Dennis, and Lizzie in Laddock, and the two Ks in Red Roof, and Irving St. Austell, and Geoffrey in St. Austell, and uh, Sylvan Newkey and Carolyn Washaway, among those, getting today's Where is the Chair? Did you get it? The clues were it's a village. A uh, church had a big fire in the mid 80s. Uh, they're famous for China clay and sites including Flatty and Pointy. Flatty and Pointy. Uh, they got the commercial in and Cornwall's highest unsupported structure. Let's find out. Mrs. Chair, where are you? I'm in St. Dennis. St. Dennis! <laughs> it's St. Dennis. So I'm guessing Cornwall's highest unsupported structure, the tower, is the. St. Dennis Incinerator? Yes, the chimney, yeah. Oh, yeah. the chimney. Wow, there you go. And flatty and pointy, I think I misheard you and said it was flappy and pointy. I was expecting, when you said sky tips, I thought some sort of birds, but what, what are flatty and pointy? They are the two sky tips that are look, overlook the village. Um, they're the old-fashioned pyramid-shaped ones, and one has a slightly flattened top. So right. that one's flatty, and the other one is pointy. <laughs> <laughs> so St. Dennis today. And from St. Dennis Ukulele Club, we are speaking to Club Secretary Ali Griffin. Thank you for being Where is the Chair today, Ali. You're, oh, okay. one, you're one of the founder members of the Ukulele Club in St. Dennis. Tell me about it. Well, um, in 2021, after lockdown, everybody's feeling a bit like stuck at home. And Steve Clegg, our um, founder, sent out a message on the village site and said, would anybody like to be in a ukulele club band? And five of us turned up. Wow. Um, and for the, for the first six months, there was just the five of us. 
um, at the football club in St. Dennis. And then another lockdown happened, I believe, or at least COVID happened again. Um, and then we managed to do, get, do a little tiny uh, performance at Clay Talk, which is the little village community and work centre that we have here. And we lured Kerry, the manager, into our web of ukulele. And then we <laughs> and then we um, started meeting there. And we have grown now. So there are 25 of us. We have a drummer and a bassist. And we've just gone from strength to strength to strength. And we've been doing Royal Cornwall, Trevithic Day, um, gigs all over the place. And we we're having a fabulous time doing it. Amazing. And I think we can see you at the Royal Cornwall Show this year. Where can we catch you? We're um, performing on Friday um, at Royal Cornwall in the flower tent. We've got two performances. Um, they did tell me the times. I've forgotten. That's all right. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out. So that's Friday, 7th of June at the Royal Cornwall Show. And also, I know you're going to be at Trenant's Cottages in Newquay. Their summer fair on the 9th of June. And... Yeah, coming up car yeah. hayes castle 16th of june looking at your yeah. uh, social media so where where is the best place to keep up to date with st dennis ukulele club and find out more uh we've we've got a facebook group you can um join us there and keep an eye on us and um, um see where we're going to be uh, performing next and if you'd like us to perform um you can contact us through there um and uh I hope that everybody who listens to us have as much fun as we do doing it. Wonderful. We have a lot of fun. We have that, a lot of fun. That's super. I love it. Ali, thank you for being where is the chair today. Do take care. Enjoy the sun. I will. Thank you very much. See you soon. Ali Griffin, St. Dennis Ukulele Club. And she was today's Where is the Chair in St. Dennis. <laughs> Where? On the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker, play BBC Radio Cornwall, and on your radio, the sound 